What is up everybody? Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be going over how to set up an Algorand node on a Mac Mini today. So without further ado, let's begin. So I'm running this on the base Mac Mini and it has 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte uh, SSD. So we're going to start by basically copying all this code that I have here and changing settings. We're just going to run the quick software update. Uh, we are in terminal. So that's good. So then we're going to go to settings and we're going to alter some energy settings here. First, we'll start with the lock screen. We're going to turn this to never, never, um, never require the password. I'm going to be running this with out of display so we're going to adjust the setting after this as well in energy we're going to prevent sleeping when the display is off so when i disconnect the hdmi it's going to stay on and it's going to automatically restart after a power failure now we're going to start with the algorand node installation so just copy all this code you could bulk copy doesn't matter if all the lines are at once. So copy paste, press enter. It's going to run this script. This takes a little time here. A lot of this stuff takes time, especially when we get down to the uh, catch up. So just give it a minute. So this is complete. We should set the environment variables, copy this, paste this, and we can verify it by running this. So we are on 3.27.0. So then we can run goal node start and then goal node status, and we will see that. We are online, but we are not synced. But before that, let's make a cron job so that we could automatically update as time goes on. This will update every 30 minutes on the hour. So all you have to do is copy paste this one. And you have to allow it to make changes. And you could verify it with cron tab. L. My bad, typo. And this will show that we have our username in here. I have the script to set up to grab your username automatically. And this is final. So let's go into fast catch up. So visit this website. And then run goal node catch up and copy and paste this code from here. And this is where you're going to need some time. This is going to take maybe half hour to an hour, hour and a half, depending on how good your connection is and other factors. So we'll run this now. And in the background, you're not going to be able to see anything unless you run goal node status. And you'll notice that sync time is increasing and it'll, it'll increase until all these are filled out. It has to get to this number and then this has to process as well. And then you'll see that the sync is complete because the time since last block will go up to like one, one and a half, two, and then it'll reset. And then to get out of this, just press control Z. And then to easily go back to commands that you've done before, just go up on the keypad and you can press enter again. So we're going to leave this for now. And then when it is finished, we'll come back and continue the video. All right. So we can tell that the node is synced 
and that is complete because the time since last block is incrementing, but it's also resetting back to zero, and the last committed block is incrementing as well. So now we could set up the telemetry, and we can copy this code here, paste that into the terminal, enter, and then run goal node stop and goal node start. And to see the telemetry, we're going to run Diag CFG telemetry. I typed it in wrong here, um, but, but yeah, make sure you type it right. So now that we have our GUID, we can copy and paste this into Nodely. Follow the link and copy paste into the GUID form. So we can see that the node is online, health is good, the sync is good. So we could bookmark this page for the future, make it easy to access. So now we can go back and we can do the participation key setup. This is my preferred way of doing it. This is a script that I made, makes it easier for you. So once you copy this, it's gonna generate a file called generate.p.sh, and it's going to ask you for your wallet address. Um, if it already sees a wallet address stored, it'll ask you if you wanna update it. And then it's going to automatically take the current round, add a million, this will last about a month for uh, participation. And then it'll ask if you want to execute the command, and then it will generate the participation key. So this is a lot easier to me. <laughs> I put work into this, but I'm making it easier for you. So I hope you appreciate it. Hope you use it. So this is the normal way to do it. I know it looks like less code, but you have to do kind of mental math with it. So go to Algo Tools and link your wallet. You could connect Para or other wallets. I've only done this with Para. Press connect, scan this QR code with your phone, and then connect your wallet to Para. Or your wallet's going to be connected to Para, but connected to Algo Tools. Once it's connected, you're going to see in the top right your wallet and go to Compose Transaction. Choose your transaction type, which is Q Registration. And then we're going to copy and paste the code that generates the script. Just press enter afterwards. And then to run the program dot slash generate part key to autocomplete commands, just press tab. It's going to say wallet address is not found. And please enter your address. So the easiest way to get the address is to go here and copy paste. Press enter, it's going to say you want to create this command now, execute it, yes, why, press enter. This will take a little bit to generate the participation key. The longer the key, the more time it takes, so you just got to wait. Okay, so it... Uh, generated the participation key and here's all the info so copy and paste this into the key registration form it'll automatically populate and then keep para open on your phone and send the transaction sign this transaction on your phone and then this will update here with the node being online So to check this, we could do uh, goal account part key info. It'll show us our part key info. But the real thing we want to do is goal account list part keys. And this will tell us that we are registered on the first round and last round. I recommend going to 
Allo alerts and setting up alerts. This will be a good security measure. It'll send you email alerts. Um, anything that happens, key registrations online, offline with consensus, you'll get notified with an email. Very helpful because we want to maintain online status. So yeah, I'll, I'll set that up in another video if you're interested. Um, please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or any problems you run into and I'll try my best to help. I have uh, other videos planned tracking the status of the node and the rewards are going live. Um, stuff about redundancy. I have a power backup that I want to test how long it's going to last. And I'll get back to you and hopefully get more videos out. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you get your node running and thank you for watching.